Hi, Tech Row here. Yeah, so now Windows 11 is out. So uh, and then there's a lot of talk of up to the as usual with Microsoft that you need the latest and greatest machine and definitely not support old hardware and all old all old hardware suddenly is now obsolete and insecure and if you use it you're going to be hacked and and you need to have a total protection module to be able to provide extra security um, even if it's well known that even though even with the total protection module it's been um, you know the encryption's been hacked so um, I thought I'd just throw an oddball at Windows 11 I mean I'm just gonna pick up some parts from different different times and um, put it together and see if I can install Windows 11 I might actually get the TPM module we'll see because this actually has a slot for it but the first attempt will be without and I wouldn't be too surprised if Microsoft doesn't introduce um, uh, you know the support for it and then they're saying that oh if you don't have a TPM module we won't give you updates uh, it's like again like is that really <laughs> realistic I mean <laughs> so you're gonna get like uh, millions of people hacked just because you're not gonna provide a security update because they don't have a TPM module no that's a, you know th these things will settle down but anyway um, and then there'll be a bit of a competition so there's, there's I'm going to um, install <coughs> Windows 10 and then a Linux distribution and um, compare them a little bit sort of sort of um, on an abstract basis how they perform and um, so anyway let's have a little look at the hardware that I've been able to um, get together so I bu bought this box here it's not the best when it goes to cooling but uh, when I bought it as a reserve case it was very cheap so this is pretty much yeah, it's not the cheapest case, but it was uh, very on a very good offer when I bought it. And then I bought another um, power supply. I actually have one of these already running, and I bought another one as a spare. So we're going to use my spare power supply in the case. So this combo is actually not that bad. And then um, I got a yeah, motherboard that's been hanging around. Can't exactly remember how I got a hold of this. Or was it one of my older systems? Um, it's actually a good board though. It's um, got four memory slots. It's got USB 3. It actually has, as I said, a, a slot for the um, <coughs> uh, TPM module. I think it was. So, uh, I can't remember exactly where it is right now. Ah, it's on the, we'll, we'll find it when we need. Um, yeah, and then it um, has all. It, you could actually run two graphics cards. This is of that generation. So um, this is a GA Z77X D3H motherboard. And I did find a CPU hanging around. And it should be okay for the socket. I don't know if the BIOS supports it, so we're gonna have a bit of an adventure there. So this is a uh, Intel Core i5 3570. So um, yeah, running at 3.4 gigahertz. So that's not that bad. So we're gonna try and try and use that. And I yeah got one of the most cheapest, crappiest coolers. Or well, actually, it doesn't look that crappy. Oh. It actually looks a bit better than what I remembered. But it was a cheap one I bought. Same time I got. <coughs> um, memory is actually quite good. This is Fury HyperX memory, DDR3. I think these were. Oh man, I can't remember what the capacity was. Where's the capacity? Was it 8 gigs or 16? That's actually very badly marked and I can't re actually remember.
We're going to have to test. So I actually don't remember. Or I'll have to look it up online. If it would be 8, then it would be 32. I actually think there are 8 eight gig modules. I don't think they were as low as 4. Anyway. But anyway, whatever. We'll, we'll have enough memory to run the operating system. And then we have a graphics card. This is a Radeon. Oh, which one, which one was this? I think this. Oh, this is an RX 560 with 4 gigs of RAM. So it's actually you know, it, it's not a terribly bad card. I reserved a collection of hard drives for our experiment. So this was a 500 gig SSD for the Windows 11 install. And then I have another 500 gig. This is actually, I think it's a 7200 RPM version. Half a gig will put, um, probably put uh, like, um, yeah, the Linux distro on that one. Maybe. And then I was thinking, uh, I have these very slow 5400 5, RPM drives, and I put them in a RAID configuration, like 500 gigs. So that should be. And then we have some screws. We have a standard keyboard, mouse, nothing special. Yeah, and then we have the monitor. Um, this is a, a bit of a sad case. It, it, it doesn't always come on, so you actually have to actually have to hit it a couple of times so you can get it to turn on. So anyway, so this is my idea of a, like a curveball for Windows 11, and um, and while we're doing this, I'll do separate videos on. Yeah, on the unboxings and then assembling the parts that need to be assembled and um, also discuss and, and um, compare. And um, I'm quite expecting the Windows 11 will they'll change their policies on that. I mean, they can't force the world to change to it. It's not realistic to, because basically they, they want Windows 11 out there for the users so they can push their advertisements and monitoring and, and all this other crap. So. Um, yeah, they they will down downgrade the requirements over time. I th I think it's more to do with validation. If you ask me, that they validated Windows 11 on the latest platforms to get it out the door as fast as possible, so they can send it to OEMs to put on um, ready-made machines with the latest hardware, and then um, they're they're going to do the, the um, legacy hardware testing then over time, like over the next six months, and then they'll probably be lowering the bar over the next six months. But whatever. Well, We'll chuck it in there and um, have an academic discussion about whether it's actually just better to stick with Windows 10 or yeah, move to Linux also as an option. So, yeah, I hope you uh, found this informative. If you like the videos, hit the like button. Um, please consider subscribing. If you uh, want to buy me some coffee, the links are in the description. There's also a link to merch and all the um, Financial income goes towards developing the channel and building projects and um, yeah, we get started on this. So I'll see you in the next video.